Every public speaker has felt the influence of mind chemistry, for it is a well-known fact that as soon as the individual minds of an audience become in rapport, attuned to the rate of vibration of the mind of the speaker, with the speaker, there is a noticeable increase of enthusiasm in the speaker's mind, and he often rises to heights of oratory which surprise all, including himself. The first five to ten minutes of the average speech are devoted to what is known as warming up, but this is meant the process through which the minds of the speakers and his audience are becoming blended in a spirit of perfect harmony. Every speaker knows what happens when this state of perfect harmony fails to materialize upon part of his audience. The seemingly supernatural phenomena occurring in spiritualistic meetings are the result of the reaction upon one another of the minds in the group. This phenomena seldom begin to manifest themselves under 10 to 20 minutes after the group is formed. For the reason that this is about the time required for the minds in the group to become harmonized and blended. The messages received by members of a spiritualistic group probably come from one of two sources or from both, namely, first, from the vast storehouse of the subconscious mind of some member of the group, or second, from the universal storehouse of the ether, in which it is more than probable all thought vibration is preserved. Neither any known natural law nor human reason supports the theory of communication with individuals who have died. It is a known fact that any individual may explore the store of knowledge in another's mind through this principle of mind chemistry, and it seems reasonable to suppose that this power may extend it to include contact with whatever vibrations are available in the ether if there are any at all. If you like this video, go ahead and submit your name to the right, your name, email, and phone number, and you'll be updated when there's a new video.